Adding graphics to a PowerPoint presentation is a great way to emphasize key points in your message. To save you time, Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 includes a variety of built-in shapes to add pop to your presentation. Shapes are preset patterns, like circles, arrows, stars, and callouts. You can also create 3D shapes, like cubes, or combine several shapes to create a diagram or flowchart. You can access all of the built-in shapes in the Shapes Gallery. When you have your presentation open, if you're in the Home tab, look for the Drawing group to find the button for Shapes. If you click on the down arrow, you'll see the whole list of built-in options. You can also access this menu by going to the Insert tab in the top navigation and clicking on the option for Shapes in the Illustration group. You can draw a shape two ways. The first way is to select the shape you want, I'm going to go with an arrow, and click into your slide to place it with the default size. Then you can grab the different anchor points on the shape to change the size and proportion. The second way is to select your shape from the menu and then place your cursor in the slide and drag it to the size and position where you want your shape before letting go. You'll see in both these cases PowerPoint applied a default line color and fill to the shape. You can change those defaults as well as the orientation, position, and visibility of your shape. If you click on any shape to highlight it, you'll see that the Drawing Tools section becomes active in the top navigation. So I'm going to click back to the Home tab. Then up here you can choose whether to change the fill color, the outline color, or if you want to add a shadow or another effect to your shape. You'll see here in the drawing group there's also a whole list of quick styles option to save you time. When you're done making your design changes, just click out of the shape in your slide. PowerPoint also lets you add text inside of a shape, which can be useful for diagrams and flowcharts. To type or edit text within an existing shape, click the shape to select it. Then right mouse click to open a menu of options and choose the option to edit text. You'll see that the text cursor becomes active inside of the shape. You can type your text and then use the options in the font group to change the style and color of the font that you're using. And again, when you're done, just click anywhere in your slide. There are a lot more things you can do with shapes in PowerPoint, but I'm just going to demonstrate two more features. First, if you need to create the same shape multiple times, you don't have to select the individual shape over and over from the menu. Instead, you can lock the drawing mode. Here's how. Choose the shape you want from the Shapes Gallery at the top. This time I'm going to go with a star. But before you add the shape to your slide, right-click on the icon and select Lock Drawing Mode. Now when you draw your shape, PowerPoint will remember what you created. All you need to do is click in your slide each time you want to add that shape. And when you've added all the shapes you need, just hit the Escape key to unstick the tool. One more thing you can do with shapes is to rotate the image. So, for example, with the arrows I've created here, I can just click on one of the shapes to highlight it, and then mouse click on the green rotation handle at the top. If I move my cursor to the left, the shape will spin counterclockwise. If I move my cursor to the right, it will spin clockwise. You can also hold down the Shift key while you drag the rotation handle to turn the shape in 15 degree increments. You can even grab an anchor on one side of the shape and drag it all the way across to flip the shape in the opposite direction. There's plenty you can do with shapes to really add visual impact to your presentations.